video we will cover how to use Loom to record your lectures. First, install the Loom Desktop app. If you have questions on how to do this, refer to our other video, which is linked in the description below. For Macs, the app lives above in your menu bar. Click on the Loom icon to open it. On Windows, just press the Windows key and search for it to open it. Once you've opened Loom, you'll be shown this small window. Here, you can select what you want to record. You have three options, to record your screen and camera, to record only your screen, or to record only your camera. Below this, you can see what camera and microphone you are using. You can leave these to the default, but know that you can change them if you want. You can check if your microphone is working by talking and seeing if any blue is showing over the microphone icon. If blue is showing, it is working. You can move the camera around on your screen by clicking and dragging it. There are three different modes for viewing it as well. Small, large, and full screen. You can also toggle the camera off by only showing your picture. For this demo, I'll be recording my camera and my screen. Right now, we will select our full screen. Once you have your desired settings, you can click Start Recording. I suggest getting your desired windows up before you start Loom and begin recording, whether that be a Google slide presentation or a PowerPoint beforehand. The way you would go about recording a single window is only a little bit different. After selecting window, it'll bring you to another screen asking you what window you would like to select. Your selected window will be shown on the screen and start recording will appear in the center. Simply click this button to start recording. Loom will give you a countdown before it starts recording. Once it begins recording, you will see a red square on the left hand side of your screen. You will use this to stop the recording. Anywhere you click on the screen during the recording will be indicated with the yellow circle. If you hover over the red square on the left, you are able to see more options. You can pause the recording, delete it, or use ink on the screen. The ink will be temporary and disappears after a few seconds. After you are done recording, simply hit the red square. You will be brought to a web page on the browser showing that it is uploading your video to Loom. Once it is uploaded, you can go back and trim your video using the trim tool. Once you are in the trim tool, hit start trimming and then the area in red will be what is trimmed from the video. This is so if you have any part of your video, whether that be in the beginning, middle, or end that you would like to cut out, you can do so. Once you have correctly adjusted the part in red you would like to trim out of the video, hit remove. From here, hit publish changes. Once you update your video with the desired parts of the video trimmed, it will take a little bit for it to re-upload. You can click on the title of the video to rename it. It is also worth noting that over on the side there's something called settings. If you hit this, you can control the settings of your video, whether that be if you want to allow comments or reactions, just to name a few. Once you are ready to share your video, simply hit copy link. You can then paste this link, whether it be in an email or Moodle, and share it with your students. You can also change the visibility of your link. If you hit the down arrow, you'll be able to either make your link public or control who can see the link of your video. To do that, simply hit invite people and then add certain email addresses. You could also add a password for extra protection to your video. If you would like to share your video a different way, you can simply download your video and upload it, whether that be to YouTube or Google Drive. Now you should have everything you need to know to begin recording with Loom. Remember to contact ITS if you have any additional questions.